Wait, it's all normal? Always has been. Hey guys, Alexander here, back with another statistics video. In this video, I will be introducing to you the normal distribution, uh, the standard normal distribution, which is just a special form of the normal distribution. And I'll be giving some example questions that you might encounter when you are doing uh, questions related to the normal distribution in your undergraduate statistics courses or in your high school statistics uh, topics. So the normal distribution is this classical bell curve shape distribution. And we say if X is distributed as a normal random variable with a mean of mu and the variance sigma squared, then we write it as x is distributed normal as normal with mean mu and variance sigma squared. Remember, we quote this as variance in the videos I will be doing. We quote this as variance, and this is a lot of the time. This is how it is recorded. Sometimes people write it as sigma, but you should really be writing it as sigma squared. Don't forget that. The probability density function for a normally distributed random variable f of x is 1 over the square root of 2 pi sigma squared times e to the negative x minus mu squared over 2 sigma squared. And there are other ways you can rewrite this to make it easier to do um, substitutions or so. But of course, you can simplify the sigma squared to just to sigma. But this is just a way for you to remember it nicely. So 1 over square root 2 pi sigma squared e to the negative x minus mu squared over 2 sigma squared. And it's valid for values of x from negative infinity all the way to positive infinity. So for all values uh, that x can take within between the negative infinity and positive infinity. Its expected value, which is the mean, is mu and its variance is denoted by sigma squared. The moment generating function for a normally distributed random variable, which is given by 5x of t, is e to the mu t plus a half sigma squared t. And this, this is an important result uh, that you need to be able to derive in many statistics courses. But in others, it, it really depends on your university or where you are studying, but you might not need to derive this, but it's useful to be able to derive it uh, so that you can derive the moments of the normal distribution. The standard normal distribution is most likely the one you will be working with most of the time in your undergraduate statistics courses when you first encounter it. So the normal distribution has many properties such as uh, symmetry about its mean that make it nice for modeling events such as height and IQ. But to calculate the probabilities of these events, a standardized version of the normal uh, random variable is needed. So we need to standardize the normal distribution to make it the standard normal distribution. And we do this so that we can easily calculate the probabilities because people have already worked out a whole table where you can go read these things off despite there being software and calculators to do this. But you will be asked to read off of a normal uh, table, a table with all the probabilities and their corresponding z-scores. Okay. So if we let x be distributed as normal with the mean mu, a variance of sigma squared, then let z, z or z is usually used to uh, indicate the standard normal distribution. Then z is equal to x minus its mean divided by its standard deviation. Standard deviation, not variance. Do not divide by the variance. Z score is divided by standard deviation. Z score is divided by standard deviation. Remember that. Don't make that mistake in your, in your courses. Because such a small mistake can often cost you a lot of marks. So if we have Z is equal to the ra normal random variable subtracted by its mean and standardized by dividing through its standard deviation, then this resulting random variable Z is distributed as standard normal with a mean of zero and a variance of one. Well, how do we go about showing that? 
So we know that Z is equal to X minus mu over sigma. Well, let's take the expected value of Z, which is equal to the expected value of X minus mu over sigma, which is equal to the expected value of X minus mu over sigma, because these are just constants, and which we know resolves to zero. The variance of Z is equal to the variance of X minus mu over sigma squared. And we know that the, that uh, this whole thing can simply, we bring out the sigma because it's a variance operator. So sigma has to be taken out and squared. So we end up with sigma squared. And the variance of X minus mu, mu is a constant. So we know that this uh, numerator simply simplifies to the variance of X and the variance of X is sigma squared. So the variance of z is that sigma squared divided by sigma squared, which resolves to 1. And then, thus we have shown that z is distributed as normal with a mean of 0 and a variance of 1. And the important thing to know here is, how do I interpret a z-score? What is a z-score? What is the z? z is just standardized. We are standardizing the normal, the random variable x, which is normal, by subtracting it, it from its mean and subtracting it by its mean and then dividing by its standard deviation. So you can interpret the, the z-scores as the number of times your value, number of standard deviations, your value x, your observed value x, will, is above the mean or below the mean, um, respectively. So that's what a z-score is. It is a z-score measures the number of standard deviations you are above or below the mean. But to standardize a normal random variable, you have to subtract it by its mean and then divide by its standard deviation, not the variance. So let's look at an example question. Suppose the final grade for a statistics course is normally distributed with a mean 70 and a variance 15. Let z be equal to x minus mu over sigma then we know that Z is going to be distributed as standard normal. And let's go about actually showing that. So Z is X minus mu over sigma. We plug in mu is 70 and the variance is 15. So sigma is square root of 15 is a standard normal random variable. So the expected value of Z, as you can see here, is resolves to zero. And the variance of Z, also again resolves to one, just as we have shown in the previous page. But this example shows it to you with actual numeric values, so you can see that I'm not lying to you, that this is actually how it is done. And then we will say that Z is distributed as normal with a mean of zero and a variance of one. Now there's an important fact I need to draw your attention to about the normal distribution. And I will show that to you in later examples of practice questions. But the most important thing that you uh, need to know for now is that we can standardize the normal distribution. And then we end up with a standard normal distribution, which we use to calculate um, probabilities with. So continuing on with the previous question, what is the probability that students score between 68 and 72 for the final grade using the results derived just now, using this uh, mean and this variance. So we know that Z is distributed as normal with a mean of 0 and 1. So we need to find the Z scores corresponding to the grades of 68 and 72. Well, Z is equal to X minus mu over sigma. That's how we defined Z to be standard normal. To calculate the z-score, we're going to have, instead of capital X, we use the, act, the little x, which is our realization, which is 68 and 72. So we will have 68 minus 70 divided by uh, square root of sigma, which is square root of 15, which we get is negative 0 0.516. And z, uh, the z-score corresponding to a value of 72 is 72 minus 70 over 15 uh, to the power of 0 0.5, which is the square root of 15, which is equal to 0 0.516. So what we see is that these values are symmetrical about the mean. 72 is 0 0.516 standard deviations above the mean, 
and the score of 68 is 0 0.516 standard deviations below the mean. So if we have this case where we have one variable that's above and one variable that's below and it is symmetric, then our calculation for the probability follows quite easily. So now we go and read off the probabilities corresponding to the Z's, these z-scores. If you have a, a sheet of paper with those probabilities and the z-scores, or if you have software or a calculator that can give you this answer, you will punch in two times five, capital Phi of your z-score, which is 0 0.516 minus 1, which gives us the answer of 0 0.605576. And how we interpret this, this says that roughly 60.56% uh, of students will score between 68 and 72 for the final grade of their statistics course. And that's how you go about calculating a probability from, from, his, uh, from given realizations of your normal random variable, how you standardize it, and how you calculate uh, the probabilities corresponding to it. And I will give more examples so that, that these ideas and become crystal clear. Poor commander out.